thought I'd do a quick update on the geothermal greenhouse. It's mid-November. It's been cold here lately, which is maybe 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit as a high and into the teens overnight, which is a little colder than normal for November. But we're in full winter mode because of it. I've got the solar system turned off currently because when it gets really cold, I like to use a backup heater. The solar system does not handle that backup heater well. In fact, we've ordered some additional batteries to add to see if it can ultimately manage it during the winter. We'll keep you updated on how that goes. One of the things we do in the winter is we attach a solar stick to this vent so that it opens when it's hot and closes when it's cold. Got a little cardboard box there because I get too much cold air around that solar stick there when the vent opens. So I want to shield that stick from the cold outside air so that it'll open properly. That seems to do the trick. This is the main guts to the solar system right here. See, I've got some new batteries in those boxes. We will add them and see how it does, but it just cannot handle the load of a backup heater. Middle fan there is the only fan that runs during the winter. So that guy is turned on. The other two outer fans, those are the big summer fans, they're turned off. And based on temperature, that, that fan will go on about 82 degrees and up. So it'll run sporadically through the through the winter. It's pretty warm in here. It's maybe 30, 31 degrees outside right now, but it's mid 70s right now inside the greenhouse. There's the backup heater. This geothermal greenhouse will keep temperatures at 40 degrees or low 40s during the winter without any aid whatsoever, just from the geothermal heating. But because we have some sensitive tropicals in here, I'd really like to be 50 degrees and higher. But the geothermal definitely works. That's a dragon fruit. We've got some citrus, some bananas. Got a lot of passion fruit. I was gonna cut this back, but we're still getting fruit from it. You see a beautiful flower. Eventually we will cut it all the way back. But uh, while well, we are still getting fruit, we're not gonna do it. Got avocado, figs, got three or four fig trees and they always seem to be producing. Pomegranate. There's a fig right there. Brought some tomatoes in from outside. They were still green when it got cold. It's more citrus. The citrus trees are getting big. We've got some that are eight feet high now. Bananas seem to be doing better down on this side of the greenhouse. This is a kumquat tree. See lots of fruit on it. This is our peanut butter tree. I don't know if you've ever seen peanut butter fruit. Guava. Got one on here somewhere. We just harvested a good sized guava. Can't see the fish in the pond very well. We've got koi fish and a couple of turtles. There's a, a little bit of a glaze with the temperature contrast between what the water temperature is in the greenhouse, but uh, you can kind of see the fish in there. Got some big old koi fish. They grow really fast. We've had a lot of fun having koi in here. They're more sociable than other fish, so we went with koi. Got the back vents here insulated on the back wall with foam to keep air from leaking in. And then if you can see that rainbow colored hoop in the back, that is um, another set of pipes. So when the fan comes on, it exits through that set, through that rainbow hoop into some pipes and goes over into the shop to provide some warm air in the shop. 
that's a quick update. I'm not gonna make this one too long, but I thought I'd update you on some of the things that are growing. I missed some lemons. Lots of lemons are in season right now. It's always nice and warm and sunny in here. So it's nice to be down here in the winter. One last thing there, pineapple. They don't grow in Utah, but they do in here. So that's a quick update. I'll try to be more frequent and do at least a monthly update on how things are going in here. You can see that we have some pots in here from time to time. Some things have just done better in pots or we haven't found their ultimate, ultimate location for where we want to place them. Temperature wise, greenhouse holds up really well in the winter and summer. I think the mature trees and plants really help temperature, but we've been in the mid 40s and higher on the coldest nights. But again, we're using a backup heater to do that. Otherwise, if we had the backup heater off, we would be about 40 degrees to 42 degrees overnight low in here with the geothermal. And of course the fan kicks on in the mid eighties to keep it from getting too hot. Even in the winter when it's 30 degrees and sunny outside, it warms up in here. Anyway, that's a quick update. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. That's it for now.